judges and audiences. We live in a beautiful country, Indonesia. It is known as the largest archipelagic state with a population of over 200 million people. As a maritime and agricultural country with lots of natural resources and cultural diversity, of course, our elders, parents, and teachers always encourage us to take care of our country and exploit the advantages. Culture itself has several elements like language, clothing, buildings, arts, and many more. Now, here come some questions. Are those the only elements that should be known? Do we really need to preserve them? What are the benefits for us? Answering those questions, today I will bring you this topic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Ale Mesha Putirizki from Asofa Islamic Junior High School. The topic that I will bring today is the cultural elements and the benefits for students. Indonesia has many different cultures. From Sabang to Maroke, every place has its own unique cultures and traditions, like arts, clothes, and local languages. The local language is a language that is used for generation by a citizen who lives in a particular area and differs from region to region. Local languages can be affected by other languages or other cultures. Just like the local language, the language that we use every day, Bahasa Indonesia itself also can be affected by foreign languages. If I think about it sometimes, I realize that how I speak is a bit affected by English. And some terms that teenagers use these days are influenced by foreign languages they have mastered. Now, we learn other languages not just in school. We can use apps, movies, music, and even in social media. In fact, studying other languages can help us to communicate with our people, understand better, and increase brain intelligence. By studying languages, we can easily talk to other people. But some people who learn languages start to forget their mother tongue. Even though learning languages is good, but don't forget your mother tongue. We also need to preserve our own mother tongue. Friends and audiences. Other cultural elements are equipment and technology system. Indonesia has lots of unique traditional tools. For example, we have chanting batik, a traditional tool that is used for applying wax in a fine lines or dots on a clothes. It is amazing to have such tools like this. With just simple tools, we can make a stunning masterpiece. We can also modify some tools and make some new innovations without losing the character of the tools. Especially with the potential of the current generation, we have a big chance to make amazing innovations. But sadly, most of teenagers these days don't know about these tools and their potentials, which may reduce the chance for new innovations. As a student, we can ask our teachers to teach us to learn and preserve culture so it doesn't fade away. We can use our knowledge and ability to maintain and develop it. Art is also one of the cultural elements. We have so much art, like sculptures, regional dances, music, and many more. Art is one of the things that stand out most from Indonesian culture, like tari saman, wayang kulit, and pencak silat. But they are not just ordinary arts and shows. Not only entertaining, some of them have meanings and morals that we can take. Tari saman, for example which mean high education, courtesy, solidarity, religion, manners, and heroism. There are also some dances or songs that tell valuable messages. We can take many moral values from that. Friends and audiences, we should be proud of ourselves. We live in a beautiful country with much cultural diversity, plenty of natural resources, and stunning natural beauty. We as a citizen can make lots of profit from it. Not just the beauty, we can benefit from it. 
but also don't forget to preserve the culture too. Don't just jump on the bandwagon and let the culture fade away. That's all for me. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.